Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of a Diamond Engine, welcome back to Prison Architect. We are working our way through the campaign mode, we are halfway through, well I assume it's halfway, I don't know, part of the way through, <laughs> maybe that's a fairer thing to say, part of the way through the fourth campaign mode, which was called Conviction. I think it was called Conviction. I'm, I'm fairly certain it might possibly could well have might been called that maybe a bit. So um, yes, we built this. We built this big uh, cell block here. We had to build this for a new sort of batch of inmates coming in. However, there are a few problems. There's a few problems with some of the cells down here. Some of them down here. Now also, they failed to put a door on this and this. I don't quite know why they haven't got round to putting doors in. I'm not quite sure. So I think we can right click and kind of, uh, can we just put a door in and put a door in? Okay, I don't know why they weren't in, because I thought I put doors on everything else, but okay, never mind. Right, so we'll, we'll ignore that. That's fine. That can sort itself out. So the problem here is the water. Let's go to the utilities. And thank you to people, uh, possibly on the Discord or possibly in the comments, I can't remember. People have pointed out and said it's probably because there is not enough water pressure to get down to this end of these little pipes. Because the main big water pipe is just here. The big sort of fat central water pipe is here. The uh, thin ones can only sort of shove water so far, I suppose, because yes, water pressure can only go so far down those pipes. And it clearly only goes to about there. Although this one, weird enough, goes to just there. That one's got a little bit of extra oomph on it, maybe because it's nearer the start of the pipe. Just there? I don't know. So what we're going to have to do is, we're going to have to sort that out in some way. So I think what we do is, I think we do this. Let's do that. Let's bring that around like that. And then the small pipes can connect up to like that. Sort of fit across. Oh, 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 no, no, I don't want that one. Uh, like that. Yeah, there we go. So they'll fit and work quite nicely. So that should, that should help. I think that should possibly sort that out. So let's let's speed time on. Let's get them to put these doors in uh, to activate these cells. Because we've got two cells that aren't doing anything at the minute. And then we'll see if my little sort of water <laughs> remedial work will actually work. Now, I don't know. I don't know if it will or not. Yeah. Why don't they just do it in order? Why don't they just do the first bits and then build it onwards? I mean, look, these guys have built the end bits before they've done the first bits. And weirdly enough, water is now flowing to just there. I don't understand. I'm not entirely sure why that's doing that. Maybe, yes, because it can meet this end bit so water pressure can go through. I've no idea. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to understand what's going on with that. But there we go. So now they've got water and, hopefully... They've got doors. Hooray! So we can have more inmates. So that's jolly, jolly exciting. That's very, very good. I like that. Now, we've got a few jobs to do up here as well. So to do three out of ten, and then uh, they've got some optional stuff as well. So uh, run a work skills training program. Train five inmates in kitchen safety and hygiene. We are kind of on that. I think we're on that now. That's sort of being done. So we've got ourselves, yeah, some people. I mean, I don't know how you work out how many are are actually on this scheme. I'm not entirely sure, but whatever. We've got some people on that. So that's good. So that's underway. The workshop safety induction, I can't do because I haven't got a workshop. <laughs> so I need to build one of those. So let's get ourselves a workshop. Now, does it tell me on rooms what I need for a workshop? And secondly, where is workshop? Um, it's probably a yellow one. There it is. Right, okay. Minimum size requirements, five by five. A workshop saw... Oh, that's, this is not going to end well, is it? This is going to end badly. Hey, there's a load of prisoners. Let's give them saws. No, 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 not saws. Saws bad. Saws are bad. Okay, so we'll have to build a workshop where you send your prisoners to die of boredom while making you car license plates. And well, there you go. You shouldn't have been naughty and ended up in prison, should you? So if we build it here, if we build it just here, we need to take out a bit of that gate, that walled area there. Now, can we do that? Are we able to do that? Or do we need to build it inside the ground? Somewhere? Yeah, because it's got this fence around the edge. Look. So it's not really very obvious where to build it. Unless we just build it here. And just go, yeah, that's where the workshop is now. It's across the road from the new guy's block. Do you know what? Yeah, let's just do that. Right, materials. Uh, concrete, I think, is probably good for that. Uh, oh, no, foundations I want. Concrete. A nice concrete building. A lovely, cold, miserable concrete building. Okay. Uh, that'll do. Miserable concrete building. A couple of doors, one assumes. Now... Let's have a look at the doors on some of the other buildings, like on the canteen and whatever. Now, the canteen, we live, has a sort of cell door in it, which is a bit of a surprise, but okay. So I think we go again for a cell door then into here. So a large, oh, sorry, a large jail door, sorry. So let's pop that roughly in the middle. That's kind of in the middle-ish, sort of. Okay, right, wait for them to do all that. In fact, can we zone that out now? Are we allowed to zone that out? Yeah, okay, good. Ta-da! That's a workshop. That's lovely. 
Let's come out of the programs thing because it's getting in my way a little bit. Getting up in my grill. Uh, and then, okay, speed time on. Get that done. We need to put some lights in, obviously. Let's put uh, a couple of lights in like uh, that and possibly there and there like so. There we go. So that can all be lit up. That's nice. Then we need to make sure it's got power. Now only two of the lights have got power. Oh, no. <laughs> Just ever so slightly shy of power. Okay, never mind. Electrical cable. Just sort of hoik that that way a little bit. There we go. That'll be fine. That will then power that one all the way down there. And then we need to get ourselves workshop saws. Workshop presses. <laughs> Why are we giving criminals saws? This is clearly going to end badly. But okay, fine. Oh, God. It's like a circular saw thing. They probably use those to chop people up and put them in bags and throw them in rivers. We can't allow them to use that, can we? So that's electrical and high-powered. Well, indeed it is, isn't it, just? Now, I don't know what the distance has to be between those, but we'll have three of those just there. A workshop press. Uh, okay, let's have three like that. And then and then a table. Is that what it said it needed? A table. Just a regular table. Uh, okay, well, let's put... Can we put tables down the middle like that? Okay, I mean, that's probably a really rubbish layout for a workshop. I'm not entirely sure what, what the sort of the distance has to be. Which side do they stand on these things? I'm not entirely sure. Do you know what? Let's go in here. Let's put another one of those in because the gap is, is sufficient. What's a carpenter table do? What's a carpenter table do? I want one of those. I want a carpenter table just because. Uh, oh, that doesn't really fit properly. Do you know what? Let's just put one there and see if it works. If not, we'll just delete it. It's not actually my prisoners. <laughs> I, can just, I can just leave it in a mess. It's fine. Uh, okay, right. Hurry time on. Let's get these guys to build these things. Ah, now we're going to need actual cables to connect these things up, are we? Are we going to need proper... I don't know, why, why have they not got power? Why has that not got power? Oh, it needs a proper actual cable coming down like that. Ah, okie dokie. Right, and down to there, in fact. And possibly down to there. I don't know, but that will probably do. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. Um, have I got anyone deployed in here? Yeah, let's put another person in. Let's put another person in. Let's get ourselves another couple of guards. Put another couple of guards in there and make sure we've got five guards in here. Uh, they've not got water? Why is that no one not got water now? That one is lack... Oh, because of the... <laughs> okay, right. Hang on. Large pipe. Large water pipe. Yeah. Like, Can we rotate large water pipe? No, it doesn't matter. Right. Like that. All the way to there. Like so. Large water pipes. Now, everyone said don't put large water pipes in cells. But again, not my prison. I'm not that bothered. I'm not that bothered. I'm going to leave soon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll be able to just go. It'll be fine. So, let's see what happens here then. 10 inmates, 3 workshop safety induction. Workshop safety induction start. Okay, that's good. Now, the only thing is, I don't know what these dots mean. Are these the people on it? So, are these the different people that are, that are attending this particular course? I think that's what that must mean. That's what that must mean. Why have we got water issues up here? Still with the water issues. One of these... Look, these are flashing on and off. Have we just not got enough water? Have we just not got enough water provision going on? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, never mind. Right, let's do that. Oh, no, look, you can't reach that. Working position cannot be reached. That's a bit irritating. That's a bit annoying. Okay, do you know what? Never mind. Uh, let's uh, click that and dismantle. Let's just get rid of that. That's fine. They've got three saws and three presses and a little carpenter table in the corner. And I'll put another table in there, actually. Once I've done that, if you come in and do that, let's just drop ourselves another table just there like that. That'll do. Come on. How hard is it to dismantle a table? Yeah, it's taking you quite a few hours. There we go. Although, to be fair, I couldn't dismantle a table. I wouldn't know where to begin. I wouldn't even know how to take the legs off. Let alone do anything else. Screwdriver, hammer, uh, don't know what else to use. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't know what to do. Okay, so let's do this. And assign inmates to work in the workshop. To assign prisoners to the workshop, go to logistics and then prison labour, of course. So what do you do? Just click on this. Now, I do like this. I like the simplicity of this. I mean, yes, you have to know to click on the logistics button. But then once that's done, I like the fact that you just go, oh, no, what should we do? Oh, we'll just click here then. Click, 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 click. And that's it. You don't have to do anything. You know, it's not like you have to assign people in and go, right, well, you or drag and drop you. You just go, I would like that. Click, click, click. And it works. So I do quite like that. I like the fact that it's fairly, fairly straightforward. Um, okay. So it says qualified prisoners, none. So one, two, three, four, five. And then assign them to work in the workshop. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. Well, can we have 10 in there at G6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Because I've got a mate. It says put 10 inmates through the thing, so I might as well do that. Oh, hello, Doc. Hello, right. Hiya. I managed to persuade the Chief to make an exception for Morgan's family visitation. Oh, aren't you kind? So, um, yes, just to recap last time, Morgan is a guy over here in the in the fairly horrible, I'll be honest, um, solitary wing. He's this guy just here, and he's in a bad way. They've not really done him very well. <laughs> They've not looked after him very well. Also, this guy is injured, and you're injured. Why are people so badly injured? <laughs> what is going on? What is happening in this prison? So, um, yes, and he's he's feeling all down and sorry for himself because uh, he was kind of locked up, but he's not really a bad guy. He didn't shoot anybody. He sort of chickened out. He was involved in an armed robbery. He didn't actually kill anybody, but he was involved with that. So, um, yeah, he's been locked in here. So here we go. An exception for Morgan's family visitation. Oh, oh, my goodness me. They have an awful lot of family. Oh, no, that's just a queue. Oh, no, that... Ah, oh, it's his um daughter, possibly? Hello, sir. Kerry Morgan. Here to see Henry Morgan. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know what gender that baby is. A boy or a girl? I mean, it's in pink. So you'd stereotypically think a girl. But there's no reason for that. You can have boys in pink. Behind the line. What? Behind what line? I'm sorry. I'm here to see Henry. Henry Morgan. He's my husband, sir. I won't tell you again. Behind the line. Now, you are an idiot, chief man. I don't like you. I don't like your attitude. I don't like your tone. And I particularly don't like your very angular, pointy face. And a chin that you could draw, you know, very, very straight lines with. You wouldn't need a ruler. Just pop your chin down. So, yeah, I don't like you. Don't like you at all. You're you're too too rude. You're very brusque and rude. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yeah, okay. So, she's behind the line. Everyone has to have shuffle about because you, Mr. Stroppy Pants. Right, come on then. What's the deal? Okay, come forward. I haven't got all day. You are an absolute idiot. You're one of those real horrible pieces of work. Come forward. Behind the night, you, 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 I'm going to fire you. I'm going to fire you because you're just a big old meany, grumpy bully pants. Okay, yeah, now she's come forward. Name. She's told you. Are you stupid as well as rude? Kerry Morgan, sir. Here to see Henry Morgan. And this here's his baby girl. It is a girl. Hooray. Uh, yeah, she's told you that already. If you're listening, that's what you tell him, is it? Go on through. Rude. Very rude, man. Very rude. Can we fire him? Can we get rid of him? I really don't like him. <gasps> Where is he? Where is he? Which one is he? Oh, he's all hes all cleaned up. He's not all beat up. He's all looking all fresh-faced. Last time we saw him, he had eyes that looked like sinkholes. He looked really awful. But no, look at him. He's all, he's all sort of nice. And he's got his uniform on. His, his prison outfit. He's not got the... Um, the, the top... His top off and all his tattoos and injuries and stuff. Okay, cool. Kerry. Yay. Oh, she's going over to talk to him. Afraid there's been a mistake. Morgan's lost his visitation privileges. What? Officer Keane, are you working on orders from this silly man here? Oh, oh, that's a bit heartbreaking. What? And the baby's crying. I'm sorry, we found liquor in his cell this morning. There's nothing I can do. Okay. That's a good face you're pulling there, Officer Keane. Oh, really? It took me two hours to get here. My daughter's crying. This isn't fair. You want fair? Go to Disneyland. Fair is somewhere you eat goldfish and eat hot dogs. You won't find it here. Everyone is horrendously mean in this place. I want to get some nice people in. Get some nice people in. Deary me. I, I would have let you through. I would have let you through. Please, give him this. Oh, she's not going to. Oh, it's a little picture of his wife and baby. Sure thing. You won't be having visitors for quite some time. Any message? Don't like you. Officer Keen is an idiot. That guy at the door is an idiot. No, no message. Okay, oh, come on. Have some sort of secret thing on the back. Have some sort of code or something. Oh, uh, yeah, and out you go. And he has to look on. No! Wait! You can't do this! Uh-oh. Let me talk to her. He's going to get fighty. He's going to get fighty. Yeah, he's... Oh, my goodness. He's broken the thing. You silly sausages! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That did not go well. Oh, that's just rubbish. Was there liquor in his cell? Was there actually liquor in his cell or not? I don't know. Right, Doc, what are you saying? That is very disappointing. It is so difficult to find ways to genuinely help these men. They really need to be taught to help themselves. No, sorry, that was me hitting my teacup if you heard that tingle noise. Um, I think it's clear we need to tackle the visitation facility. Families are queuing out the door and we clearly can't handle the volume of visitors we are now seeing. Build a brand new visitation facility. Despite what happened to Morgan, I think we'll see a positive benefit. And he isn't the only inmate here with family. 
I've been doing some research and I'm astonished to find that many of these inmates have only the most basic maths and reading skills. We need to start to remedy this. Open up a new classroom facility and let's stop bringing in external teachers to teach the basics. Without education, these inmates have no hope of anything other than a life of crime. Oh my goodness, Doc. And we need to keep on top of the influx of prisoners. Keep expanding our capacity so that every inmate gets a decent quality cell. Good grief. Okay. Uh, no, no pressure then. Just do all of the things. Do all of these things. Okay, hopefully that will start working eventually. When we get some people trained, we'll get all this done. Um, are they new people? They can't be new people. They cannot be new people. No, maybe they're just... Ah, no, maybe they're... Ah, no, they're this lot. They're that lot from over there that are going in for their for food, for canteen time. Okay, no, that's absolutely fine. That's okay. So what have we got to do? Work skills training was from before. Set up a better visitation service. Authorise education through bureaucracy. Okay, well, let's do that first, if I can find where education might be. There! Yay! Requires a warden. Okie doke. Got one of them, probably. So we'll do that. That's good. Uh, and then new visitor centre. Facilitate 20 inmate family visits. Add telephones to all yards. Uh, oh, well, that's probably a really easy thing I can do. Build a mail room and assign people to work in the mail room. Well, where's telephones? Phone booths. Add telephones to all yards. Well, that's nice and easy. I can probably get that done. Um, yeah, can we just have a row of them down here like this? One, two, three, four. Twist that round. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then along here, this is a yard. So then put them in the corner again. So have them like that. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. That seems a bit easy to me. That seems far too easy. That, that that can't be right. That's too simple. Surely that's too simple. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll roll with it. It's okay, fine. Um, I think we need to build something here. This here is a bit of a wasted space. The only thing is I have to dismantle this fence. And then if I dismantle a fence, are people going to run out and escape? I don't know. Okay, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to zone this out as the mail room. And I'll zone it out to there. And then what I'll do is I'll just take out two chain link fence bits and put the door there. And that means that they can't go anywhere else. They can't actually escape. So let's do that. Let's get ourselves some foundations. Let's do it properly. A concrete kind of thing like that. That looks good. Like so. So it's not touching death. So they can't do anything nefarious from here. They can't like tunnel through or something silly. Requires an entrance. So we can... Uh, hang on a minute. Right, hang on. Can we, can we dismantle that bit of fence? Can we dismantle that bit of fence? I'm not entirely sure how to dismantle that bit of fence. Uh, okay, well, there's a, there's a bulldoze thing there. Is that what I want to use? Now, I remember someone saying, oh, you don't want to use bulldozers, you want to use something else. But do you know what? I can't find what that is. Where is that in there? Where is the, this fence? Is it in here? Uh, I can't see a fence. Is it materials? Ah, right, okay, it's one of these, is it? It's a perimeter wall. That's what that is. That's a perimeter wall, is it? So we're building outside the perimeter. So, yeah, so can we then demolish walls? Let's do that and that. Demolish that, and there'll be a building, and then we'll go to objects, get ourselves a door, and put the door just there. Can we do that? Because, yeah, uh, there. Let's see if that makes any sense at all. That might, this might be terrible. This might be an absolutely stupid way around of doing things. Uh, that says requires entrance. Haven't I already given you an entrance for this? Did I not give you an entrance? I'm a bit confused, but okay. Let's see if it works anyway. Requires an entrance. They've, they've put the gate in but then we shall have to take out oh yeah no no no. i've done it wrong i've done it in the wrong place the door should go just there the door needs to go just there uh yeah there we go so now there is an entrance so i think do you know what let's have double doors <laughs> let's just have oh no we don't need that maybe we don't need that oh i i really don't know what i'm doing do you know what let's just di yeah dismantle that absolutely dismantle dismantle there's a guy there not doing anything come on you can dismantle that you're not doing anything else so let's be honest can you dismantle the thing please Someone let them through the door. This one here dismantles. Commence dismantling and dismantled. Okay, good. And now we've got a couple of wall sections there. Can we? Are they, do they count as that? No, they're not objects. Materials. Demolish walls. That one and that one. Uh, I know that. No, this. Yeah, that hasn't worked. I keep hitting my teacup. I keep hitting my teacup with my hand. I apologise. I need to put a wall across there. So that needs to go away. And there does need to be a gate just there. Yeah, that, that this hasn't worked quite as I was planning. This has not worked as I was planning because it's linked with the perimeter wall. Yeah, I want it to be like that. I want it to be like that. Like so. 
objects dismantle that gate and then put the gate, the uh, large jail door thing, just there. That's what I want. That's what I would like to happen. Right, hurry time along. Let's get that done, please. Yay, there we go. And also, it, this has obviously ticked itself off the list. Add telephones to all yards has been done. So that's good. At least I've got something done today. I've got one thing done. Um, right, some lights. Let's just drop some lights in like that. That'll do. That should light that up quite nicely. Uh, is there sufficient power stuff? Yes, there is sufficient power. Okay, what constitutes a mail room? Mail room, mail room. Um, five by five indoors, a sorting desk and a table. So let's drag that out. Yeah, sorting desk and tables. Okay, uh, how big is a sorting desk? How many of those do we need? Well, let's put in one, two, three for now. Uh, and then let's get ourselves some tables across this side. Well, let's have one, two, three of those as well. Let's see if that's how that functions. So we've got three of each. Right, hurry time along a bit. Because then they're coming in with the lights, they're coming in with the tables, they're coming in with all the stuff. Yay, the room is lit up beautifully. In they come. I love the way they just sort of stand against the door with big load of boxes. That does make me chuckle. And now we have to assign people to here. So maximum jobs of seven. One, two, three, four. Four people. There we go. That should be okay. In fact, do you know what? Let's have three because there's only three of those tables. So yes, there we go. I've got a little mail room. That's lovely. Yay. Okay. So this is looking okay. It's looking okay. Um, has anyone been trained in this stuff yet? Has anyone been sufficiently trained? Can we look at that in here? Qualified prisoners zero. Qualified prisoners zero. Required kitchen and safety hygiene. Required workshop safety induction. Okay, how long does it how long does it take them to train in these things? Oh, there's a red line. There's like a red progress bar. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. That's okay. We can cope with that then. So once that red bar's through, they presumably are done, and that'll tick some of these things off. Okie dokie. I think what we'll do is let's get these bits done first. So now a classroom, a chapel. Ooh, okay. Intriguing. Okay, no, that, that's good. Let's get a chapel. Where can we put a chapel? That's outside their bits, the, 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 the grounds, isn't it? So that's the bits they can get to. Let's put the chapel. The classroom might be quite good up there. Classroom might be good up there. And what we'll do is we'll have the other visitor centre thing on this side. So we'll have one visitor centre on that side. Although that building is not in the best place, is it? That building's not in the best place. We'll have to have a large jail door just here. Now, how have they done that? They've got a large jail door. So how do people get into this bit? Right, they come through. Large jail door. They come through. There's a room. And then there's a door looping back outside. And they've got... What's that? What on earth is that? Lock open. Lock open. Okay. So they've got those there. And then they come through. And then they talk to people. And they go away. So we need to build a similar thing to this. But bigger. So maybe a bit bigger. Do you know what we do need? We need some more janitors. That's what we need around this place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six janitors. And... A couple of gardeners won't go missed, to be perfectly honest. A couple of gardeners won't go missed to tidy this place up. It's a bit of a mess, <laughs> this whole place. Not very impressed at all. Um, yes, we need to repeat that. So there needs to be a bit which they can get to, so the prisoners can get to. Yes, we can gate that bit off. Look, we can have a big old perimeter fence thing. And then the prisoners can come through that side. The prisoners can come through that side. And then the people can come in here. So we'll build that there. So the new visitor centre can be just here. We can make it quite big. So yeah, our classroom and chapel. The classroom can be here. The chapel can be here. Now let's do this properly. Let's not mess this up like I did last time. So let's get this done. A concrete building. Uh, so we can have... This is going to be the chapel. Do you know what? Let's make a nice big chapel for them. Hooray. Go chapels. Right. Like that. But then it's weird. Like, yeah, it's not done the thing. So concrete walls down like... No, I can't have the concrete walls. Okie dokie then. Never mind. Um, a door. A door can go just there. Like so. So if we hurry time along, they can come and get that built. We'll put the walls in. I'll zone it out as a chapel and we shall see what we need. Whilst we're doing that, might as well do exactly the same thing on this side with the concrete building. Uh, blocked. Blocked. Why is it blocked? Why is that blocked? Concrete foundation blocked. Requires entrance. Uh, hang on. Well, if they can get to here, they can get to just there. So I don't know why that's blocked. Why is that blocked? I don't really understand what that message is telling me, but okay. 
Let's do... Yeah, okay, I don't understand that. Maybe they need to build this first. Maybe they need to get this done first in order for that other one to free itself up. Uh, no. No, there, there is a weird limit whereby it goes to just here and allegedly that is blocked. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. But okay, that's that's a thing. That's a thing. We shall have to do something different. Uh, yeah, I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't know why that's blocked. But okay, whatever. It is blocked and that is the way of things. Maybe we'll have to build another bit up here for the classroom then. And have the classroom door sort of up here. So that, well, that could be the, the classroom actually there. And then we could build the chapel sort of just there with the door on this side or something. I wanted a bigger room, to be honest. I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, I really don't understand that at all. I'm not entirely sure what's blocking it. Can I work out what's blocking it? Requires entrance. To, to what? Is that zoned out? Is that sort of zoned out or something? I don't think it is. Deployment. It doesn't look like it's zoned out to anything. Right, that says no access. That's absolutely fine. I know why that is. So then we need to go through into materials and demolish walls. So, uh, hang on. Whereabouts is the actual door? Whereabouts is the door? I think it's there. I think the door is just there. So let's take that out. And then people will be able to get to that. Okay, so now they should have access to that. Now let's go into materials and concrete walls and actually build the walls on this thing. So like that and like that. And I've taken the wrong bits of fence out, which is of no great surprise to anybody. Okay, uh, perimeter wall. Or is that just fence? That might just be fence. And now I can't build there. I'm very confused. Maybe that's perimeter wall then. No, I can't build that. Do you know what? Never mind. No one can get through anyway. I'm sure it's all fine. <laughs> I am not having a very good building day. <laughs> ah, dear. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Stuff's happening. Yeah, people are injured. Big old fight. You just, yeah, just, just keep fighting with yourselves. Absolutely fine. Uh, right, let's see then if we can do this now. Still no, still blocked. Okay, well, let's build it up here then. Let's build our other room up here. We don't really need to go up that way, do we? So we could just fill that up like that. We could just do that. Like that. Bish bash bosh. Requires entrance. Okay, now I know where to put the door on this one. I know where to put the door. I can put the door just there. Just there. Put a concrete wall just there. It will all be fine, I'm absolutely sure. Ah, while they're doing that, I can go and look at the programs we did. So, workshop safety induction. 13 were interested in it, 6 finished it, and 5 passed to an 83% completion rate. And the kitchen and safety hygiene, in 14 were interested, 5 finished it, and only 2 passed. That's not the best, is it? So let's start them again. Let's get both of those going again. Let's start them running. Uh, in fact, can we do... Oh, is that doing 2 lots? Oh, well, that would have been useful to know, wouldn't it? I didn't know it could do that. We were only running one at a time, so now we can run two at a time. Okay, there we go. Well, you live and learn, don't you live and learn. Who are you? A workman is injured. Why are all you people so badly injured? Should I have been paying attention to that? Oh, these, my buildings are absolutely terrible. Right, okay, so look. Yes, we've, we've got thus far, but then we need to build some more walls in place. That's absolutely fine. And then, over there, you know, why can't I build a, I can build a wall in any of those tiles, but for some reason I can't build a fence. I'm, I don't, I'm, uh, I'm very confused. Okay, do you know what? Never mind. I don't think I need to worry about that. So let's zone these out, shall we? Rooms. One needs to be a classroom. One needs to be a chapel. I think they're pretty much the same size. So let's make that the classroom. ta -da! And make that where the chapel might be. I can't see it. Where is the chapel? There it is. In the corner. Chapel. So zone that out as a chapel. Okay, now what do these need? School desk, an office desk, an altar, a pews, and a prayer mat. Okay, school desk, office desk. I can probably cope with that. So a school desk, so an office desk is the teacher, one assumes. I'm assuming that's the teacher's desk. So they're going to want to sit at that sort of end. So let's have one, do you want two of those? Maybe like that. Two of those, and then school desks. Oh, yes. Okay, right. One, two, three, four, five. Can we have them like that? One, two, three, four, five. In fact, we surely will be able to do that with them as well. Like that, proper sort of pack them in and just have a, a little bit down the middle where you can walk. Yeah, like that. I like the look of that. And then this needs an altar, a, 
uh, pews and a prayer mat. So I assume you only need one altar. I'm going to assume only one altar is required. Uh, which way Which way round does an altar go? Which way round do you stand at an altar? Pri pri I need a priest. I need a priest to tell me which way round they stand. I'm not entirely sure which the front is. I would say that's the front. But I don't know. It looks all, it looks all very samey. It looks very samey. Uh, yeah, I'd say that it seems to be like that. They're going to stand at the where there's a bigger green side, I'm going to assume. So let's put that there. Uh, and then pews. So we can have a few pew pews. So where, which way around do they go? Is that is that the right way around for a pew? Yes, that's the right way around for a pew. The only thing is, the chapel is a bit small. We can't have that many of those, which is unfortunate. But let's put the pews along that wall. So can we pack the pews next to each other? It just has to be a little gap. I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure. And then prayer mats. These can't be too big at all. Oh, yes. Okay, these are tremendous. Right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's have a couple of those up there as well. Like so. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We possibly need to put some lights in these rooms. That would help, wouldn't it? Yeah. Some lights are probably very useful things. Light, 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 light. Splendid. Are we going to be able to power all that stuff? Certainly not up there. It is a very dark chapel up there at the moment. Uh, down like that. Uh, and do you know what? Across like that. Why the heck not? That'll do. Pop that in. Right. Speed that on. Get that done. It is taking them a painfully long time to get all this stuff connected. It's taken a very long time. I don't know what they're doing. Are they all extremely tired or something? What's that? Blocked. No route. Can you not get there anymore? Do you know what? I probably don't need those bits anyway, do I? I don't need those. Oh, look. And people are flooding in. People are flooding in here already. That's tremendous. Okay, right. That bit does need to be connected. We need to connect those bits up. Those bits, probably not that important, actually. Yeah, so they can't get to there and there. But they can get to those two bits. We need to do those bits really, really soon. But uh, these bits here, yeah, let's just dismantle that utility. Dismantle the, both of those. Dismantle both of those bits. There. Right click to cancel. Oh, okay, because it's not built yet. Okay, so once those two are in, that thing will be nice and powered and it'll be lovely. Okay, so now I need to run a foundation education class and a spiritual guidance class. So, okay, foundation education. Let's start. Uh, all rooms booked. Really? Really, really? Are you sure? Are you sure all rooms are booked? And uh, a spiritual guidance. Start. We can start that. That's fine. Do you know what? We can do two of those. I don't get this foundation education program. Many inmates lack even a basic education. Reading led by a teacher in a classroom. Session length, three hours. Okay. Right. Three hours. I don't think we have any regime three hour gaps, do we? No. So let's change that to that. And then pop that into there as well. That's two three hour slots where they can go and actually do some stuff. Now if we go back to programs, if we start that. Yay, there we go. So we can do that now. That's good. That's good. So we've done that. We've done all these things. So run a foundation education class, run a spiritual guidance class. They're both in play. Ding, they're done. Yes. Okay, that's very good. Oh, I'm happy with that. We need to expand to 80 cells as well. We're slowly working our way through this. Are we actually, is anyone in here? Yeah, they are. They're in here. This is good. We're producing license plates. Do we tell them what to make? Like, do, do we instruct these guys what we would like to make? Contents, license plates. Oh, they're making them. They're making license plates. Death three today. Oh, uh, should I be concerned that the big guy there, Sean Nash, is dead? He overdosed. Oh, well, that's your own silly fault, isn't it? Oh, dear. He's overdosed, too. Do we have some sort of medical facility on site? We don't. We don't have a medical facility on site, but we do have a hearse handy. So, hooray. <laughs> that's that done, then. Splendid. Uh, mail room. Is anyone working in the mail room? Do I need to assign people to work in the mail room? Let's pop a guard into the mail room. Um, who runs the mail room then? I thought it was... Is it not prisoners? Uh, oh no, that's deployment. Oh no, I've gone to the wrong thing. Logistics. Yeah, it does have some people in there. We put four people in there. And now we've got a guard in there as well to yeah, maintain order and stuff in the mail room. You need to make sure that your post has been delivered to the right place. That's very, very important. So, okay. Yeah, let's um, come out of that. Now, do I want to work on this and this and this next time out? I suspect I do, because I think building the new visitor centre 
and then getting the 20 people in will take a little while. And then we've got to build a big load of new cells. There's an awful lot of deaths happening. Oh, oh my goodness. The Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. The guards, the guards are all dead. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, what's this? What's this? We need to do a shakedown. Take some time and annoy the hell out of your inmates. But, yeah, let's do that. Also, let's get ourselves a few more guards in play. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That, that'll do. That's probably a good amount of guards. Oh, an extra one there. Never mind. And let's do this. Let's do a shakedown. Shakedown underway. There's an awful lot of injured and dead people. This is a bit worrying. You've, you've killed some of my guards. You toe rags. That is not nice at all. So let's get that done. Let's get all this done. Oh my goodness me. Look at all the... How have they got phones in? How have you got phones into this place? You are all absolute scallywags. Yep. Okay. We're going to find all you people. He's... That guy's... That guy's hiding in a fence. I think we'll be able to find him. They've searched quite a lot of places. They've searched quite a lot of places. And are they searching in here now? Yep. They're searching through the kitchen, I think. Are they doing the kitchen? It looks like they are. There's lots of flashy little icons for the kitchen. So I assume they're going through the kitchen and making sure that all these things are checked. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is. They're going through the kitchen. They're checking all these different bits and bobs. Yay, there we go. And we've done 244, 245. We've nearly done our shakedown. And the last bit. Right, okay, 247. After We lost the place. We didn't search a place. Okay, there we go. So we hopefully have gone through and just cleared out some of the... Some of the kind of contraband rubbish nonsense that there was. Oh, I know what I was going to look at. Down here. I was going to take a look down here. Because I couldn't build here. Yeah, again, I can't build electric things in this building. I don't really understand why. Why can't I build? And that's an electrical cable, anyway, but I can't do that. That's that's the wrong thing. No, look, I can't build there. I don't really know why. But I can build outside. But I can't build inside. Which just confuses me. So what we'll do is, let's have a thing going down here. Like that. Because none of that, none of these are powered. In fact, they even got lights. They don't even have lights in those cells, I don't think. No, they don't. There's lights in the corridor. Still, this light down here is broken. So at least I'll switch that light back on. I'll have a little bit of light. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So they can run about and do that next time. But what I think we'll do is... We'll stop for now. We shall pause for now. There's unconscious people. There's unconscious people all over the place. Injured people. We haven't got a medical facility, which is a possible bit of a problem. But uh, yeah, so we'll leave it. We'll leave it with a bit of a bloodbath, actually. A bit of a bloodbath. Now, I'm not entirely sure what we do if there's a bloodbath. Like that. Now, I didn't see it happening because I was faffing out doing other stuff. And this isn't my prison. So I'm not too first. This is yeah, a campaign prison. I just move on. I just abandon it and go on to the next. But I don't know what to do if there is a massive riot like that just there. What What do I do? Like, what am I supposed to do? Let's put a couple of people in there, actually. Uh, and someone in that yard. Uh, look a little bit lost over there. Can you not just come down here? <laughs> That's a very, very big space you're covering. A very big space. I'd rather just sat in the yard, but okay, that's fine. Yeah, we need some people in the yard as well. So, um, yeah, I guess, because we haven't got anybody in the yard, let's start putting some more people around the place. More people in the holding cells. Uh, yeah, more people in that one as well. Pop someone in there. Pop someone in there. There we go. So more people are now being dealt with by guards. We'll put another guard in as well. So, uh, yeah, next time we will be building another one of these. We shall build another block. Possibly, now it would be lovely, if you could just copy that. So copy... Paste. Copy, paste it. Drop it down. They build it. We stick power in. Then that's beautiful. That will sort the capacity out. That'll be lovely. And then, yeah, we'll do the visitor centre and we'll see how we get on. And we have produced one of our 100 license plates. <laughs> Hooray! And, um, yeah, we'll see if we can train any more of these people as well. But you know what? Yeah, let's leave it for now. Let's leave it for now with a bit of a bloodbath and then some musings about all the other bits and bobs going on as well. But, um, yeah, let's stop for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. Hopefully I'm not annoying the heck out of people with this because I'm kind of just playing it as I go along. I'm kind of just enjoying going along and playing it and learning about it, you know, clicking all the buttons and finding all the nice things. But I know that um, there's people, you know, in the comments and there's people in the Discord and they're saying, oh, you, uh, tip number 77, you need to do this, that and the other. And it that's fantastic. It's fantastic that people are very invested. I just, I can't retain things. <laughs> I can't retain anything like that in my feeble brain. So, yeah, if I am ignoring your advice, or if you're thinking, I told him never to uh, build a workshop with saws in, and I've just done that, then I do apologise. I apologise very much in advance, because um, 
yeah, I, I can't remember things. So you probably have told me stuff that I've ignored. But uh, yes, if you are, if you're enjoying this, please do leave a like. And also, please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the stuff that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. That's a kind of hammery thing. There's some sort of pliers. Oil filter. Yes, I found the oil filter. It's a murder weapon. That looks like it says brake fluid. I don't want to drink brake fluid. Toothpicks. Spanners. A brown car. Why do all the cars look the bloody same? I'm not buying one of these. These are clearly awful.